Hello, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. And we're gonna visit the Chateau de Nidec. And legend has it, it was home to giants. Let's take you along. What we know today as Nidek Castle are actually two castles occupying a rocky volcanic ridge in the Hazel Valley. While the lower castle of Banidek was built around the start of the 13th century, the upper castle was built later that century, probably following a division of the stronghold. Nidek is an incredible ruin today, but imagine what it must have looked like back in the day when people referred to it as Der Weste den man spricht das Himmelreich. The castle they call the Kingdom of Heaven. We start our tour over at the donjon of Banidec. This 20 meter high keep is adjoined by a curtain wall, which used to be a dwelling. The current entrance is a modern addition. The original entrance was to the south side and accessible via a gallery from the dwelling. Sadly, access to the keep is forbidden these days. The history of the castle is marked by the unfortunate tales of the knight André Wierig, a noble from the city of Strasbourg. From 1447 on, he held a part of the castle in fee from the Bishop of Strasbourg. The following year, he joined his suzerain, the bishop, and another knight, Jean de Fénétrange, in a battle against the forces of the city of Strasbourg. In response, the city's troops trapped him in his castle and forced him to capitulate. Humiliated, Wierich pledges to never support the enemies of the city again and to never open his castle again to Jean de Fénétrange or his allies. Two years later, in 1450, Wierich again chose the wrong side when he joined forces with Georges Dochsenstein, Ochsenstein, a castle we have visited before, against the Lichtenberg family. Once again, he has to take refuge in Otnideg as he is besieged by the Lichtenbergs. This time he is saved by his pregnant wife. In tears, she threw herself at the feet of the victors and pleaded with them to save the life of her husband. A second humiliation was enough for Wierich as he afterwards disappeared from the center stage of history. A fire destroyed the castle in 1636 and the name Nidek disappeared from history. Until it made a surprise comeback almost 200 years later in the legends of the Brothers Grimm. It was this text that inspired the poet Adelbert von Camisso to compose the poem Das Riesenspielzeug, the legend of the giant and their daughter. Want to learn more about this legend? Then be sure to check back next week!
higher on the hill, we discover the ruins of Otnidek. Small and steep stairs lead up to the top of the rock, where a few walls with arrow slits can still be seen. Higher still, we discover the remains of the donjon. Though the ruins here are smaller than at Banidek, for us this was a true prize because of the immense views over the valley. That were the, in fact, two castles of Nidek. Time for the arbitrary subjective castle score. I'm gonna say an eight. It's stunning and I'm so glad the fog is cleared. What of you? What do you think? I agree, I would also say an eight. It's really nice that you are able to and are allowed to climb up over Nidek and get all the views over the surrounding. Amazing. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your score in the comments. And otherwise, like, comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of castles. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.